just thought I'd iterate the point again, just to make it perfectly clear how skewed the priorities of this country are. The Liverpool bombing, with the, uh, obviously the Islamic bomber, locked in a cab with David Perry, bomb goes off, probably less than a metre away if that, and David Perry loses an ear and suffers significant injury, which it's a damn miracle he's still alive, let alone walking. And when his fundraiser was set up to, set up to get him a new vehicle, the guy I think is currently sitting on around £42,000 after eight, nine days. And then Jamal, the Syrian refugee who was quote-unquote waterboarded, which he wasn't, he just had a bottle of water poured over him, who was in no danger of, of losing his life. It was just kids having an altercation in a playground. He had 157,000 pounds in that same week, back two, three years ago. And then that's before we even consider the court case with you know who. Put that into perspective and you'll see just how fucked up our country's priorities are. You can be a literal hero saving hundreds if not thousands of lives, lose your vehicle and an ear and yet you'll only get 42k and yet if you're a Syrian refugee and you even have so much as a bottle of water poured on you the British people will pay you nearly four times that. Once again, that's just to reiterate a point, which is why this video is very short, and it's more for you to understand just how screwed up this country's priorities are. I wonder what the lamestream media has to say about that. I wonder what the government has to say about that. I wonder what the boy himself has to say about that. Food for thought for you. With a T, not an F.